<laughs> hey, along with the thousands of suggestions on wireless controls for the home theater PC. And they're still coming. I know. A good flood of them. A lot Thank of you, you have been asking about legal content online and where to get it. So let's get our top five on where I'm finding legal TV online. Ooh. Number one. Hulu's desktop application, a terrific 10-foot interface is what they call those couch-friendly interfaces that you can apply. Uh, <laughs> Tulu's desktop software basically gives you the same thing you would get by going to the website, but in a couch-friendly interface, and I, I kind of dig that. I want to see more Hulu and more like, you know, Windows Media Center and Boxy and XBMC. Actually, missed a lost Bring episode the other week. Went right to Hulu, boom, it was right there. I was able to catch up on my show. Nice. Yeah. Number two, go right to Netflix. Hey, it, the lack of HD on the PC side of things is pretty disappointing, but there is Blu-ray disc delivery, and I have to say, I just get it, get it, and get it. <laughs> and if you have one of those Blu-ray players or other set-top box devices that support Netflix, you then get that HD streaming right. goodness, or of course the game. It's just not available too. on a home theater PC <laughs> yet, or your desktop PC, no. or your notebook. Bring it. Number three. Comedy Central. I have to say, the whole website, including Jon Stewart, Stephen Colbert, South Park, I love their streaming code, which is up to HD quality when you view it in full screen. It basically is much like NBC Olympics. It'll match the bit rate to whatever your performance of your network is and give you up to an HD quality stream. It looks they really good. Three and a half megabits per second? No, is that kind of like the spec? Like two and a half is about where they max out at, but it still looks pretty good. It's not like there's a whole lot of, it's not like a hockey game, no. you know what I mean? Colbert moves, but not that much. This all pales in comparison to Blu-ray, which upwards of 40 megabit anyway. <laughs> for the YouTube fans out there, there's YouTube XL, and that's youtube.com slash XL. Provides a big screen friendly interface so I can watch my Maru the Cat videos from the comfort of my couch. Is that the do 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 do? No, not keyboard oh. cat. Maru is, Maru is the coolest cat on the internet. And his owner is just one. Anyway, I'll show you the video. You and really you, have gotten over your cat hate. You will. I love animals. I just I wish they'd stay off my vehicle. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, over the air. Over the air with a simple USB tuner like the one we showed off a couple weeks ago and the one Looks I have. gorgeous. If you live in the right area and you can pick up these signals, they're free for the taking. Nice. And using it with Windows Media Center means I have a good DVR system with a nice channel guide as well. And it works just perfectly. We're gonna show you how that looks in a second. I gotta say though, because we're gonna come back, we're gonna actually show off your, your home theater setup yes. right now. But I guess, only five? Did we finally learn how to count? Okay, I, I briefly mentioned NBCOlympics.com. There, while the Olympics <laughs> is on for the next 12, well, uh, depending on when you watch this, the next 12 days or so, go check it out. They have clips and shows and live feeds that you can check out right now. I'm not sure if this works anywhere in the world, but if you're here in the U.S. at least, do check it out. Yeah. I would hope they have it streaming everywhere in the world. I would hope so. I mean, it's also amazing because in some cases they actually have like pretty much unedited coverage where they just let the whole thing roll where you're watching the trials and stuff, which is like, you know, hours of curling and biathlon. Nice. <laughs>